He is known for his unwavering loyalty to his father and opposition to Julius Caesar during the civil wars of the Roman Republic. He formed the last organized resistance against the Second Triumvirate and established an independent state in Sicily. His name is Sextus Pompey. In the turbulent times of the Roman Republic, one name stood out as a symbol of resistance and determination, Sextus Pompey, the son of the renowned Pompey the Great. Born into a family of political power and military prowess, Sextus Pompey dedicated his life to upholding his father's cause against the formidable Julius Caesar and his allies during the final civil wars of the Roman Republic. With unwavering loyalty and strategic brilliance, Sextus Pompey became a formidable military leader. He formed the last organized opposition to the Second Triumvirate, a powerful alliance between Caesar's heir Octavian, the legendary general Mark Antony, and the influential politician Marcus Aemilius Lepidus. Despite the overwhelming odds, Sextus Pompey defied the triumvirate and managed to establish an independent state in Sicily, a region of great strategic importance. For several years, Sextus Pompey's independent state in Sicily served as a symbol of resistance against the growing power of the triumvirate. His determination and military prowess posed a significant threat to Octavian and Antony, forcing them to divert their attention and resources to quell the rebellion. This diversion of resources weakened the triumvirate's hold on the Roman Republic and allowed other political players to gain influence. Sextus Pompey's defiance and establishment of an independent state in Sicily had profound significance in the field of politics. It demonstrated that even in the face of overwhelming power, a determined and strategic leader could challenge the status quo and create a significant impact. His actions forced the triumvirate to reassess their strategies and priorities, ultimately shaping the course of the Roman Republic's future. Sextus Pompeius, the younger son of the renowned Roman general Gnaeus Pompeius Magnus, found himself caught in the tumultuous era of civil war and political upheaval. As his father and brother fled to the east to escape Julius Caesar's tyranny, Sextus remained in Rome under the care of his stepmother. Tragedy struck when his father was treacherously killed, leaving Sextus with a burning desire for vengeance. Joined by other senators and resistance fighters, Sextus actively opposed Caesar and his forces in the African provinces. However, their efforts proved futile as Caesar emerged victorious, defeating Sextus' brother and allies in brutal battles. Undeterred, Sextus fled to Sicily and rallied another dissident army, determined to continue the fight against Caesar's political heirs. With the assassination of Julius Caesar, Rome was once again plunged into chaos as rival factions vied for power. In this volatile landscape, Sextus Pompeius emerged as a key figure of opposition against the Caesarians. Recognizing his strategic value, the Senate commended Sextus for his alliance against the triumvirate formed by Octavian and Marcus Antonius. While the triumvirs focused their attention on the faction led by Cassius and Brutus, Sextus seized the opportunity to strengthen his army and establish a formidable navy. With Sicily as his base, he became a thorn in the side of the triumvirate, engaging in military confrontations that yielded no decisive outcome. In a surprising turn of events, a peace treaty known as the Pact of Misenum was signed between Sextus and the triumvirs. The motivation behind this treaty was Octavian's need to secure the Western Front before embarking on a campaign against the Parthian Empire. However, the peace was short-lived, and Octavian soon renewed his conflict with Sextus. Octavian, aided by talented generals such as Agrippa and Taurus, launched a relentless assault on Sextus' forces. In a series of naval battles, Sextus suffered significant defeats, culminating in the destruction of his fleet by Agrippa at the Battle of Nolicus. With his base of support lost, Sextus was forced to flee to Asia Minor. Finally, in 35 BC, Sextus Pompeius was captured and executed without trial in Miletus. Despite later claims by Octavian that the execution was illegal due to Sextus' Roman citizenship, it was Octavian himself who had declared Sextus an outlaw. With Sextus' demise, the chapter of his valiant resistance against the Caesarians came to a tragic end. Do you want to explore more politician or military strategist? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.